Hi, welcome back to Tiny Tunes. I'm Miss Linda, and today we are just celebrating music. Music is so good for you. It's good for the brain. It's good for your soul. We've talked about this before. Very relaxing. So in our celebration mode for Tiny Tunes this October, we are making a love music puzzle. Very simple, but fun. Let me show you what it entails. And I hope you have fun making it. In your kit, you are going to find a puzzle board. Yes, this comes apart, all those big pieces. All right, find a puzzle board. And I made uh, stencils. So this stencil just has a music note, a heart and music on it. And I gave you paint and a paint brush. You're not limited to just this, but I thought, well, at least I'll send you something to get started. And um, you can use markers, you can use your own paint, you can do whatever you want. You can make this psychedelic, you can make it one color or however you want to do it. Use all of the stencils, use one of the stencils, use two, use none. Whatever you want to do, this is your love music puzzle, okay? So, also, I decided today I'd like to share with you, I'd like to share some of our nonfiction books about music. Um, this one is called Music, and it's by Basher. And uh, this is an introduction to music. It talks about sound, musical marvels, noteworthy nerds, rowdy bunch, sweet sounds, and I think you are going to like it. It says, meet Tempo, the musical pacemaker who loves a good beat and to get to know melody, who offers up sound to thrill your ears. Say hello to brash, glitzy pop who sings out everywhere and marvel at powerful voice. Your built-in singing sensation, this is called music. You'll find this in our nonfiction section of seven, or 780, and that was that is where you'll find the musical things. Um, all right, there's science in everything. Project Code, create music with Scratch. Anybody working on Scratch or learning Scratch with school, create music with Scratch. If, do you already know the basics of using Scratch? Project Code will guide you through easy to learn techniques to expand your creativity and use your imagination when coding. This book builds on your scratch skills to compose your own music. Use ready-made blocks of code to produce simple projects and use them as inspiration and models for your own use. So this is Project Code Create Music with Scratch. This is a learner book. Oh, it is written by Kevin Wood. You can also find this in the music section. This is under 781.345. That's our nonfiction over where the music is. Um, we also have, you can learn about parts of music and how music is arranged and what's going on and how to build it with scratch. How about something like this? The Story of the Orchestra by Robert Levine. This includes a CD with 37 selections from the greatest composers. It's over an hour's worth of music. Listen while you learn about the instruments, the music, and the composers who wrote the music. Orchestra Bob takes you on a fun and exciting journey through the world of classical music. And along the way, you'll listen to the greatest works in classical music and hear each instrument of the orchestra and learn fun facts about the music, composers, musicians, including Bach. Bach, 
He wasn't famous until 100 years after he died. Wow. How about some people think that years of playing the oboe can make you crazy? Is that a true or false? You'll learn that in here. How about this? Beethoven was totally deaf by the time he wrote the famous Ninth Symphony. The contra, the contrabassoon would be 16 feet tall if unwound. Guess you need to look that up. And Copland composed at night and on weekends and had a day job as an insurance agent. So it's one of those where don't quit your day job, but I think he ended up doing very well for himself. The story of the orchestra. And now with the symphony starting up again in downtown Pittsburgh, now's a nice time to learn about the orchestra. Last but not least, I just wanted to point out something that you may not know. Are you taking piano lessons? You working on a piano? Maybe you're taking them with a keyboard, whichever. Do you know that we have sheet music books in our nonfiction collection? Yeah, we do. Um, this one, I love this one. Disney's My First Song Book, a treasury of favorite songs to sing and play by Hal Leonard. And okay, Disney fans, you can see, you know, maybe definitely, you know, beginner, advanced beginner. And for you Disney fans, okay, here's a list of or some of the um, songs that are in here. How about Can You Feel the Love Tonight? What's that from? Yep, Lion King. Good job. How about, oh, let's see if you know this one. Dude, this just came out not long ago with a uh, part two. Um, how about Chim Chim Cheree? What movie does that come from? Give you a hint. Think of an umbrella. Ella reaching up and flying through the sky with someone attached. Yep, Mary Poppins. Ah, uh, that's oh, I like this one. I know you're gonna know this one. Kiss the girl. I love this song. It's so cute. Kiss the girl. What's that one from? A Little Mermaid. Let's do one more. Um, da 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 da. Let's see. Okay, maybe you'll know this one. Uh, the second star to the right. What is that one from? The second star to the right. I don't think I would have guessed this at first, but then when I, now that I know the answer, and I think about the title, it makes sense. The second star to the right, give up, Peter Pan. Yep. And those are just a few of the songs in Disney's My First Songbook that you can find in our collection in nonfiction music section under 782.42. And guess what? Wonderful children's youth service librarians there to help you, if I must say so myself. So until next month, this has been another month of Tiny Tunes, and I do hope that you love music, because that's what it's all about.